If we look at all the energy that's used today in this country, from transportation fuels to electricity, 93% of our energy comes from hydrocarbons, meaning coal, gas, or oil, or nuclear. About 5% of our energy comes from hydropower. About 2% of our energy comes from renewable sources. That is a dramatic fact that very few people understand. When we talk about growing a green economy, we're starting from a very small base. We're starting from a 2 or 5 or 7 percent base if you count hydropower as renewable. So we're starting from a very low base. We have to be concerned about what level of investment we continue to put into the 93 percent because what we don't want to do is in the course of moving towards a renewable future, we don't want to run out of electricity. We don't want to run out of liquid fuels for our vehicles. We don't have mass transit in this country to make up for not having a vehicle. And we don't have battery-powered cars, not anytime soon. My worry is that because of there's so much focus on the 2%, that we're not putting enough focus on the 93%. And we can't just turn off the 93% and continue to have the world's largest economy or to continue have a, to have the lifestyles that we're accustomed to. You've seen investment ramping up uh, until the collapse in the economy in 2008, and there was a steep decline as almost no investment was going anywhere. But it's bounced back quite strongly uh, in uh, 2009, and I think you're going to see 2010 be even bigger in terms of investment in a whole sweep of energy future options, wind power, solar power, uh, second generation biofuels, some more exotic things like a wave power and tidal power. And then I think you're even getting people starting to invest quite heavily in extracting fuel from algae and a variety of uh, possibilities like that. In terms of alternative energy, it's really the best of times and the worst of times. It's the best of times long term in the sense that for all sorts of political and consumer sentiment and environmental reasons, I think there's a broad sense that these technologies uh, have a pretty rosy trajectory um, over some long term, whatever that long term is. The difficulty is that they have a hump to uh, get past, which is which is the economy these days. And so the question for a lot of these companies is whether they can survive the recession.